All right, folks, how we doing? So, I just thought I'd do a couple of late night videos. And you guys could see them tomorrow um, during the day. How we doing? So, I got 20 October about 9 o'clock. Thought I'd come in there and chill out, do a little bit of work, man. It's so busy out there, man. We got baseball going on. People are going to, you know, going out after that. Man, we got conventions. Uh, they got a hockey game. The Golden Knights are playing the uh, St. Louis Blues tonight. And then last night was like the opening night of the NBA, so because of all the traffic is going in and then it's like the, a poker tournament so with all the like the wages coming in man it's just here in las vegas it's just bedlam out there man i'll tell you what anyone anybody want to do like gig work or whatever if you want work here you got it and people are coming out here to do gig work okay man because it's like all busy all day every day but you'll make some money doing this, so I can tell you right now. Now, that being said, okay, we're talking about work. I'm talking a little bit about the supply chain industry. And what I think that things are just, you know, people are going to have to do to fix it. As you know, that those ports out there in L.A. and Long Beach, that, man, they got so many colonies stuck up there, all right, that they can't get them out. And what it results in is people are waiting uh, up to like four, like three, four months to get their goods and so forth. Okay. Um, a lot of these goods are coming from China and you have ships that are stuck out there and see, they've been out there for like a month. All right. With connexes on them. All right. Um, it's like three to four times as many connexes on the ports as it was before so uh, things change after COVID there there was a typical way that you would order stuff and it would get, just get delivered they would uh, load up one ship take it to the the ports okay and they get so many conixes and they go on and bring them out well COVID it changed a lot of that see COVID had made the supply and demand higher because more people were ordering online okay so that made the production, all right, go, uh, how can I say, they were behind in production in a lot of these factories, particularly in China, all right? Between that, not enough ships. And then, you know, just like here in America, all right, you don't have enough workers coming out as well as people are resigning, all right? And even if you do get it out to the ports or whatever, then you don't, you have a truck driver shortage here in America. Right, because they don't feel like they're getting paid enough. So a lot of this has to do with COVID, supply and demand, uh, lack of uh, logistical workers and so forth. All right. And this is results in you not getting your product. All right. Or having to wait two to three times as long. All right. So I just think that, number one, a lot of these companies from the factories, to the ships, to the ports, to the trucks, okay? That haul, they have to transport this stuff. They're just gonna have to pay more. Now let's talk about a big push that they're gonna have probably starting like the middle of next month. And they're gonna do that push probably to like the middle of January. But let's talk about this can go on for like a year, okay? Until they can get enough workers uh, to come out. And there's still a lot of people are not coming out as long as they they pay this uh, unemployment. And they're going to probably under, end up paying this unemployment to like the spring. All right. Uh, I don't think it, it'll be as bad as it was now. But, you know, these things are typically not going to be the same anymore. All right. So I would just suggest to people, if you like to order online, you may want to order your stuff like sooner. All right, if you're going to get stuff during Christmas, you may want to go and, and, and make that move like right now, especially you're going to order from places like Wish or Alibaba from China, okay? So, again, many of these 
products are coming from China. You know, in fact, let me give you a, a, a fact from or how we rely on stuff from China so much. In China, last time I checked, they make about, they get about, we use about $600 billion in goods from China. They only need probably about $200 billion for us, so that goes to show that we need them more, okay, more than they need us, all right? This may throw out uh, more American companies into making stuff, and the administration that we have now, you know, there's even talk about trying to get the National Guard to come help out with these ports and ships and stuff like that, all right? Why not? We ain't got no wars going on right now, okay? Even truck drivers to help uh, push this stuff, you know, for Christmas. So the thing is, to get these uh, workers to come out here, they're just going to have to pay, uh, pay more. They don't pay enough. They get overworked. They get mistreated. So what do you think they, they can do, whatever, you know, what do you think they're going to do? A lot of them are probably end up going to end up doing their own businesses, all right? Do stuff like doing a lot of this gig work like Uber and Lyft or whatever. They may get less money, but, you know, they don't have to sit there and deal with a lot of this corporate bull crap. It is what it is. So, and until they can fix those uh, personnel problems, until they can do that, then uh, they're going to continue to have these problems, all right? These issues with uh, stuff being laid, uh, left out there in the ports and all that. So let's see what happens with that. Uh, again, I like to just say to order your stuff early, okay? If you want to order for this Christmas holiday, that's if you celebrate such a thing, order now. All right, thanks for listening, y'all. Stay tuned for the next video. If you find this video interesting, feel free to subscribe, share, leave your comments, let me know what you think. If you want to donate to the channel, it's uh, Cash App Winston Spivey or S-P-I-V-E-W-1 at unlv.nevada.edu. Thanks.